This is supposed to be the best taco place on the strip. Tacos El Gordo. And there's a line, so you know it's probably good. Any place called Fat Guy Tacos, I'm in for. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? It's right across from Resorts World on the corner of Convention and Las Vegas Boulevard. We're next in line. Hi. Hello. Oh. Okay, cool. Do you want to wait for the pastor and I'll wait for this? Or? Sure. Oh. I feel very protected. <laughs> Hello over there, darling. Wow, if you haven't been here, it's not intuitive. You just ask for help. You gotta order at different lines and then go and pay and then come down to find your table. All right, here's the past store. Real Italian tacos. Has uh, sour cream, guacamole, cilantro, onion. Wow, has a bite. These are really good. And you can tell the tortillas are homemade. Now this is a soap bake. Mmm, the meat is really good. I don't know how you eat this. They have the cheeses melted and the beef is really good with cilantro and homemade salsa. Ooh, and chunky guacamole. I have to say, this is a really good place. Messy, but good. While I find it hard to believe this place came up on budget eats, it was fantastic. And we got a sope and a vampiro, which are totally different than we're used to, which is awesome. The tacos are about $3 a piece. The sope, which are huge, is $5.23 a piece. And the thingamajiggy that Chris got with the, the vampire, vampiro. Vampiro, uh, Chris got, looks like it has melted cheese on it. The vampiro has a big chunk of melted queso Oaxaca and then the beef and the le or the cilantro and the onions, Lord, delish. It's also five dollars, but it's big. And finally, cilantro that actually has full body flavor instead of tastes like nothing. It's hard to find flavorful cilantro. This is really good. But I don't know how you eat it. <laughs> you have to eat it like a. Pizza on the plate. <laughs> that was fantastic. I'm kind of glad it's an hour's walk from our hotel because we might be eating there way too much. <laughs> I ate there way too much right now. What was your favorite thing? Oh, it's hard. The sofa was so big and so good, but the tacos were amazing. I like two different things so it splits it up a little bit. Hands down for me, those tacos off that store were amazeballs. The vampiro was good too. It had a hard uh, hard tostada on the bottom and hard tostada on the top. Both of them were layered in melted and browned queso Oaxaca and then a ton of beef and cilantro and salsa in the middle. Oh, we gotta come back here. Yeah. All right, off we go. You knew this was gonna happen. Seriously, they should sponsor us or something. Starbucks, if you're watching, please sponsor us. For those of you keeping score, that is a venti eggnog frappuccino with two shots. That's actually really good. Christmas time. Mm. from the beginning, he's amazing. I call it Tahuli, but I know it's wrong. <laughs> he's an amazing glass blower. The whole ceiling in the lobby of the Bellagio is his work. This is all a chocolate fountain. That's all the line. I think we're gonna come back on Monday. weekend and there was a huge line. Today's our last day, we came back, no line, yay! <laughs> Thank you. 
this is worth waiting an extra day and going to it. It's painted rice. Painted rice? Yeah, they're all rice. They're gluten free. All the decorations are seeds. Look at that, how intricate that is. It was definitely worth the wait. I think the next time we see you, we'll be at the airport. Now this is first class. Cheese and coffee, gotta love it. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>